being a Londoner for me means being myself. It means me being proud of who I am, where I'm from, and being able to do what I want to do without having to be labelled. Part of it means understanding. It's definitely patience. It's definitely tolerance, and it's definitely the opportunity to learn about different cultures. Being a Londoner, you get to interact with a lot of different groups of people from different countries. It's very multicultural, different religions, different languages, different food. Um, I love being able to get in my car and drive from one part of London to another, and it's like you're going to a different world. And I just enjoy that interaction with different groups of people. Like, you need to have experienced certain things to call yourself a Londoner because you can't just have come and then as soon as you're here you call yourself a Londoner because you haven't experienced everything that other people have experienced. But I also think being a Londoner is being part of a community where, you can, where it's unique and you, you can express yourself. I think a lot of the negatives in London actually come from outside people who aren't Londoners, who aren't young people in London. And then when people are labelled in a certain way, viewed in a certain way, sometimes they end up fitting those stereotypes as they're trying to find themselves. They end up fitting the labels that other people put onto them um, rather than developing their own path. And I think actually a lot of the negativity, like Kobe says, is not actually come from within, but is something that's placed upon London. I do believe a lot of young people um, from mostly disadvantaged communities have been abandoned. Um, they've been left. They've, they've got very, they've got lack of resources. They're, they're not given the same opportunities other children are given. The environment isn't so good. Um, there's a lot of crime going on, so it's a bit um, scary when you leave your house sometimes, especially being a teenager, a young boy, growing up. It's that quite scary. Leave parents with a lot of worry, really, because they see things going on in the news and they worry about their children, um, which is also, I feel like it's an ongoing issue because we see like new cases each day. Um, and sometimes the media does over-exaggerate it, which makes it a lot worse. Because of the way London is portrayed by the news, you also start to think and embrace those like, negative thoughts. One of the first things that the younger generation can teach us is to be more patient with them. I think there's, there's, there's a tendency for a lot of parents to be impatient with young children and as a consequence of that young people look at the thing of what they call instant gratification they want it now i mean it'll be harder for the younger generation to teach the older generation something because we don't really get listened to and we usually get like looked down on and the older generation um just think that we're not educated enough and we don't know enough about the world so they just think that we're like irrelevant and they wouldn't consider our opinions so i think if they listen to us more then we could teach them something so they need to kind of get off the habit of the fact that, oh, we're too young, we don't know anything, can actually listen to us, so we can come together. So a lot of us aspire to kind of be vloggers, YouTubers and stuff, and sometimes we're looked down upon for our um, ideas, but older people need to understand that we're very, they're like, this is a very creative generation, and we want to do more with what we can and with what we have, so I hope older people can listen to us on that one. Don't be shy, like, just be yourself. And like in London, a lot of the time, some people may not like, not like you and like, maybe they do. Just be yourself because at the end of the day, that's what matters. Right? I often think that a big um, unfair criticism labelled on young people is uh, they're too mouthy or have too much attitude, when actually that's really, it's mistaken. Often it's just because they, when they see something wrong, they speak out. Yeah, I was saying the other day, um, our differences are our biggest strength. And I think that's what I want the older generation to learn, how we're all different, but when we come together, we're all one. We're still a little fish in a big ocean. We're still struggling out there. It's a nice little phrase, that. Yeah. Where'd you learn that one? Nemo. <laughs> Nemo. Finally, Nemo. I like that. <laughs>